There's only one thing better than an extra large super spicy sausage pizza. It's this piece of fucking trash. Super Mario 3D World is a game that had a lot going against it. With a horrible announcement trailer, a lot of high expectations after the Galaxy games, and just looking like the most generic thing ever, there wasn't a lot to be excited about, other than it selling 5 million units. It sounds impressive until you realize that a damn projector game outsold 3D World. Even with a lot against it, it was actually pretty damn fun, especially with multiplayer. Though for the longest time, it was stuck on the Wii U. Other games on the Wii U would be ported to the Switch, like, like Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, or Tokyo Mirage Sessions Drop FE. And even the spin-off directly inspired by 3D World got a Switch port before this did. And when things looked bleak. It was announced in the Super Mario Bros. 35th Anniversary Direct that Super Mario 3D World was finally coming to the Switch, with a lot of changes. This was actually how I experienced 3D World for the first time, and I gotta tell you, it was pretty awesome, especially with the online multiplayer. And the port was actually pretty good, with it adding increased running speed, a photo mode that uses stamps originally used for Miiverse, and a brand new adventure. Introducing Bowser's Fury, an incredibly fun expansion to 3D World that turned the 3D Mario formula open world. I'd always had doubts that the Mario franchise could go into an open world direction, but Nintendo knocked it out of the park here and changed things here and there to make it an amazing experience. In Bowser's Fury, the story is, Bowser's mad and furious. And what, you might ask? Good question, because I have no idea. Essentially, Bowser, for whatever reason, is big as fuck and is angry as fuck. As Mario, you have to team up with Bowser Jr. That's how you know this shit is serious. I also have to mention before I get any further, this isn't just another world from 3D World. It uses the same physics, graphics, and engine from 3D World, but, but everything else feels totally different. Also, this game is fury as hell. Especially with this tweet. If you know, you know. Cat Mario is already the most well-known part about 3D World, so it makes sense that the cat power-ups return here, but they've ramped it up to 200%. The entire theme of this expansion is cats, which includes the enemies. There's a fucking turtle here that's also a cat. I feel like I'm going crazy here. It's a ton of fun playing the game, and even more so thanks to the phenomenal music that complements the gameplay. It's not like 3D World, with it focusing on a jazz-inspired soundtrack. Here, they've made a simply phenomenal soundtrack. It doesn't matter where you go, the music is awesome, and it feels like you're at the beach, having a great time. And dare I say, the entire soundtrack here is better than 3D World soundtrack. And the tonal shift in music whenever Fury Bowser appears is just simply amazing. It helps to convey how big and powerful and scary he is, with the rock music that was so good that it appeared in the Super Mario Bros. movie. It's a big day for those who barely care about Super Mario, but care enough for Bowser's Fury. That's me. I only really care about Bowser's Fury. There are a lot of different islands in Lake Clapcat, though you can only explore one at a time due to all of the black goo. My guess why there's black goo? Well, it'd make this video demonetized. There's only one way to take out the black goo, and that's through the cat shines. And in order to get these cat shines, you'll have to go on an island and do some platforming or something cool. It varies for each island and for each cat shine, and it's strictly similar to 64 stars or Odyssey's moons. When you collect enough of the cat shines in a given area, then you're given access to the Giga Cat Bell, which is pretty self-explanatory. It makes you big, and a cat. So, now that Mario's big, he can finally take on Fairy Bowser, and you can damage him through jumping on his belly. These moments are awesome, and it makes collecting the cat shines amazing. You're not just collecting these to unlock a new part of the map, you're collecting these to beat Bowser's ass. When Fairy Bowser is fed up with Mario's bullshit, he goes away, and with that, a new area of the map opens up. Repeat and rinse the cycle a couple of more times, and then the game's over. It's a lot of fun to play through, and I ended up 100%ing the game, which is pretty rare for someone like me. I'm a sort of dude who likes to beat a game and then play something else. I say this, but my backlog is so big, there's like hundreds of games, and I keep on playing new games for 5 minutes and then going on with a new game. Not here though, because the gameplay and experience overall was amazing. It's because of how short it is. 3D World was already pretty short, excluding the bonus world, but... Bowser's Fury is only 3 hours long in total. It may sound like I'm complaining, but I'm not at all. Sitting around 3 hours is a perfect length for something like this. As good as it is, it feels like it'll get really repetitive after a while. Having this nice concept of being short and small allows for a world that's quite dense. There's not a single moment in this game that I wasn't having fun, which makes it a lot better than 3D World. I got traumatized by Champions Road. 
and it made me want to drink a regular Coke. Anyways, that's it for my short look into Bowser's Fury. It's short, just like the game, which was totally on purpose. I'm not sure if I want to see future 3D Mario games like this, but I wouldn't be opposed to the future 3D Marios taking cues from this. Fury Bowser is a behemoth, and provides a lot of tension that the Mario series has never had before. Also, if you're wondering why I'm posting this at the beginning of the month, I was initially focusing on releasing two videos this month, with the first one being another code recollection. There's just one problem with that. I don't have it at the time of this recording. I was aiming to release the video the day you're watching it, but obviously, that's not gonna happen. I also just really like Bowser's Fury and wanted to take a short dive into it before making my first real video of the season. So anyways, I hope you like this, because I may do this again if I ever need to stall. Fuck, looks like I forgot to make a random outro, so, um... Look, there's this, um... Sauce mix of ramen. Fuck, this isn't funny.